All right, today's video is another wonderful cold steel product, and it's it is brought to us by uh, Cowboy Bebop, the complete series. I think that finished in about uh, I think it was right at the turn of the century. Also by Purell. Uh, this stuff sold a few years ago for like five bucks for this one two ounce little bottle now they're back down to 50 cents and two new scents I found uh, in Purell this is the calming lavender everybody needs that these days and also the energizing mint Purell good stuff so here is the knife we're looking at today it is the cold steel Kobun. This is the new one, and it is a serrated blade. This is the old one. I've had this for several years. It's got that plastic little pocket clip, secure X sheath, and it is a straight edge. I'm going to leave that one out. So, this is the Kobun serrated edge and here are a few of the specs it is os 8a steel weight 4.4 ounces blade length 5.5 overall 9 and 7 8 blade thickness 3.5 millimeters handle 4 and 3 8 and it has a cray x grip so let's take a look at oh and here there used to be one of those uh p65 notifications that Kind of got blacked out. Cold Steel, anytime, anywhere. It's got their phone number in Grand Prairie, Texas. It's got a 100% stand behind warranty. And Kobun comes complete with a Secure X sheath. Please use caution when handling Cold Steel products, they are very sharp. So let's take a look at this thing. It is a 1.17 TS Kobun serrated edge. And that's official because it's on the box. Comes bagged up. And it comes with a slightly different sheath than the old one. This is the old one. It's got that plastic. And it also has... it's. Also, a little bit bigger, it's got a line of, or a row of one, two, three, four, four of those holes on one side that are not on this one. Plastic sheath, or plastic belt clip. Metal belt clip that is removable. It's also repositionable. You can put it down, down here, down there. It's got a lanyard hole, nice grip on this. Secured pretty good in that sheath. And let's see if it fits the other sheath. This is the one I got many years ago. So yeah, it fits real good in that sheath also. As expected. So here is that uh, serrated edge. Very deadly. There's the blade markings, cold steel, OS 8A in Taiwan, was it made? And there is the Kobun logo. I think that's the same on the other one. Yep, Kobun. Pretty nice blade. First, we're going to try a cut test with the old one. Oh, and one other thing. Uh, Kobun means follower in Japanese. Kobun means follower. And I did a recent video on this cold steel, the Oyabun, which means the boss. 
this Oyabun very similar a bit smaller than the Kobun that's the boss knife and the uh, Kobuns are the followers so let's do a cut test on the original Kobun very sharp so that's been sharp for a long time that's nice let's try a cut test with the serrated not real bad you gotta go fast not really great cutting with the serrated even though it will cut pretty good. So let's finish up with a drop test. I'm going to do a drop test into this acacia wood. It's pretty well balanced so I think it might stick if I can get up high enough. I'm going to try to drop this from a stand up about 30 inches. So there you go. It's got a nice sharp tip so it stuck easily. That is the Koboon. With that wicked serrated edge. And that deserves a little cowbell. Knuckle bump.